guys, it's citizen, citizen, citizen machinery. Massive fans of Citizen Machinery, the Citizen Machines and the Miano Machines. Now we're going to look at your Citizen Machines, but how many Citizen Mianos do you have? Uh, 20. Right, and just to clarify, we had to check that because you're making acquisitions of these machines all the time. You bought four in the last sort of four or five months? Yeah, four L12s uh, since Christmas, yeah. Uh, and the, the compact, the, the machine being so compact, it allows us to, to run out around the clock. Uh, and be confident that knowing if, as long as the preparation is done on a Friday, we know that all through the weekend if, uh, the machines are running. And I suppose the fact you've got 28 says itself, 28 machines. Yeah, 28 machines, but also it's down to the service that we receive, uh, service uh, and support which we receive from the citizens kind of impeccable. So, uh, yeah, couldn't ask for much more. So, Martin, quick summary of why you like citizens so much. Just that they're fast, they're accurate, um, you know, they're a good machine, they're easy to learn. I'm shocked how efficient it is. Shocked or impressed, or both? Hey, both, really. Our pride and joy at the minute seems to be our Citizens and our LSB and Miano. We want to be at the forefront of what's coming next with Citizens and Sliding Edge. You don't, you don't want to be at the back of the queue, you want to be at the front, and we're, we're pretty lucky in that respect. Within three months of getting the first LSB, we bought another two more. It's not that they're unmanned, it's the guys that we do have can use their skills in a beneficial way instead of just breaking off a bit of swarf. The machine's yeah. doing that, so it's a godsend for us. Yeah, we've seen some significant savings up to 30% and probably uh, probably achieve more. And I've really decided on Citizen for their, their after sales support. Right. Warren assured me there'd be significant after sales support to help me and actually that has proven to be true. I can ring them up at any time, So I've got a programming problem, can you look at this? You send them the program and they'll send it back corrected. I bought Citizens because they are bulletproof, I would say. Darren has this way when you sit down and you say, Darren, I'm after this machine. And he'll say, no, come on, Graham, let's have a look at the drawings. Let's see what machine is the best for you. And so you get good advice. We call it the enemy. Swarf is the enemy, and it's a constant battle. This seems to have taken that way. The LFB, and it's worked better than I expected. Let's clarify, you've got 10 machines here. If you go LFB, would you go all, all of them? There's actually no turning back. I'm okay. no, no. Once you've gone LFB, you won't go back. You can't, no, it's just, it's just another step forward. LFE, low frequency vibration. Just for those who don't know what that is, just confirm quickly. Absolutely, so LFE is an oscillation of the uh, machine axis uh, synchronized with the spindle rotation. Uh, so we're getting perfect out of phase chipping so we can 100% control that chip every time, no problem. Now, swarf and swarf buildup in the machine is one of the worst factors against your process security, and LFE eliminates that before it can even be a problem. And the swarf, would, normally we would be swarfing the machine out two, three times a day with a job like this. We can leave it running overnight, 24 hours easily, before we'd have to swarf the machine out. The brass compression olive, we can set that up on a Friday afternoon, and by Monday morning we'll have something like 5,000. So, and you, yeah, no, there are going to be no issues whatsoever. No issues whatsoever. Tool life is, is also improved. We've seen a 20% increase in tool life. But also up, above that, we've got tool breakage, which doesn't happen. So we haven't seen any tool breakage, any failure with LFE. We've seen tools wear eventually, but not total failure. We saw it, we liked the sound of it. It was like utopia for an engineer. It was the, it was the game changer. And that word's banded about uh, in tooling and machinery as well. But it truly is a game changer for us. But where the saving is, the, and this is the game changer, we can run complex mill turn components in exotic materials at night. And we've seen at least a 50 to 60% increase in our lights out production.